I turned around. Welcome to RPG A Day, day four. Um, if you did not catch my previous video, this is kind of a two-parter because I think I bought two RPGs at the same time, which is the topic of, of this question. So um, the other book I bought while my wife was heading out and I was gonna have no more chances to use her, her discount was Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition. Um, and I promise I won't record in this room again, obviously, echoey. Um, so Call of Cthulhu, obviously fairly well-known system. And I do believe its actual root system is BRP, basic role-playing. Um, I knew about it as from, from the horror aspect, right? That, that's part of the genre. Um, and I might have asked on BGG or somewhere else looking for a um, looking for an RPG system that was close to the Elder Scrolls system as far as skilling, right? Where your skills improve because you use them. Um, and I seventh edition, I skimmed that book twice. I shouldn't say I skimmed that book twice. I've read the book twice. Um, and if my memory still serves me correctly, yeah, the, um, it's still used to improve. It's not, it's not leveling or anything like that. Um, it's used to improve. And I have always been interested in that ever since playing uh, Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, which I played a lot of. Um, and thinking and at some point, I thought like, hey, why isn't it, why isn't it like this in role playing? I, right away, I was like, well, this is going to be, this could be a whole lot of overhead. Um, and man, if we could figure out a way to bring more detail and more, a little bit more flair, I don't know what I want to say, flair or distinctions or flavors, like class type flavors to it without horribly increasing the, um, the overhead, I think that would be even neater. And that's always a thing. Um, uh, RPG a day, right? Runs once a day in, in August, but at um, on the our role-playing side of Board Game Geek, RP, BGG, which has RPGG, Role-Playing Game Geek, they do a question a day. And recently there was a question about the things that you've learned as a GM over the years. And one of the things I commented was, is that while I have a strong simulation bone, um, it needs to be married with not being too compli like the complication and overhead that a, simu a simulation, this kind of idea and mechanic has, has to be worth it mechanically and in its interesting Im impacts its impacts have to be interesting um and so i think that's just that's just one of those things if you did do a a more complex use the skills to improve it has to be worth the extra weight that that complexity would bring um but that's definitely something that i would be interested in i've always wanted to kind of blend um role masters um so it's development points right for role master you get so many per level but it's your class selection that sets what the development cost is per skill. You know, that's why a fighter has easy weapons, like has high weapon skills is because their cost for gaining weapon skills is so much cheaper. While they don't usually have any magic, it's not that they're blocked off from it, it's that it's really expensive. And of course, you know, the, a pure mage is kind of the reverse of that, right? And I've always thought like, man, could I somehow, I've thought more about video games where you've got that, the computer, to handle the weight of like, man, could we you can we use the Skyrim of the Elder Scrolls, uh, Call of Cthulhu, used to improve method with varied costs based on your profession. Um, I just thought about that, like how that how that could or could not be neat. And actually, just today, just today, I had an idea about. Yeah, what if what you did was you actually started at a generic cost line that's maybe kind of high or maybe middle high, and then every X number of improvements 
you actually you lower that cost, right? So you basically say everybody's generic, but then you special you specialize and become better at what you do by doing it. And that way you don't have to pick a class that says, oh, these are these skills are cheap and these skills are expensive. I really want that skill too, but that one's not included, but this is the best fit. You, you can just make your own fit. Anywho, that's, this is much longer than the other videos and I'm gonna talk to you guys later.